Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. I do whatever work these outlanders are doing and more. You'll regret not. Today's bounties head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I'll take the shards, even if it means having a listen about. Looking for one of their own. Should pay well. Uh. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold! Radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Mm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. Demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety We both know you're no killer for hire. Subjects. Uthid is innocent. So come see Go me forth, then, while there's Avengers, still time to save him. The will of the sun. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel. Gotta see Actually, the sun ring from place. on high. Oh, well, the Kestrels. Ah, to see you they want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. This is insane. Hardly. They're going to see me. You underestimate the ease of hiding in plain sight. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. 
No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. By year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the Savage East. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, kidding me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Snow back here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now <laughs> we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped welcome to project zero dawn zero dawn we found it are you really so surprised? Facility no Diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. In a smaller room. Proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the perk. What? what was this place? A holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. The Zero Dawn is a top-secret super-weapons program. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague, if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super-weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. 
global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating. Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. That, that doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? Tribal printer stop us now. The data points, what did they contain? Heavy. It's hard to. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobek. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? 
This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. The whole earth destroyed. Are you mad? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth this for life for us but why Hades then if it was part of Gaia how did it end up in the wreckage of a arrow robot and why does it want to kill me and Apollo the archive of knowledge what happened to that I'm as confused as you are Maybe the answers lie ahead. Saving these for the trail. Intruder! Get her! Whatever.
I'd have to leave something else behind. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. There's a storage area nearby. Done. I should check the door nearby. Done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Found one. Looks intact.
That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. That did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact.
The shadow will be Your end has Sun can't save you now. Clear for a moment, anyway. Hello, I'm Margot Shan, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal form. Except, it's not that simple. This is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. More Eclipse. Careful now. memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Evadu. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. A career to the preservation Come of out, human wherever. knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is therefore Let's get this over with. Also the embodiment of a lifelong passion. Yeah. 
shot him. Let the shadow guide you. Can't get close enough. You cannot escape! I will teach you to bleed! That's the last of them. Alone once more. In what should have been a cave of wonders. Look around. See if anything is left. Extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. So why give her a subordinate function when the purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the? Looks like the only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? Looks like it used to hold something. But we benefit from antilopony morphologies. Though capric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final instatement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and... survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead.
might need this. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost, and he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. <laughs> no, it wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you, here, so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be, predestined and preordained. You're an idiot. 
A dangerous idiot, but an idiot. All this talk of destiny and fate. I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? Here being played for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you must cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East. To rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the Sacred Land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> oh. So you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Karja Faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? Beast, prowl in broad light of day. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Huron ordered many faithless 
crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! Either. I'm just 